Oi. So I've got to basically cut the uh, the tire bit. So I cut some of that bit off, cut some of this bit off, and thin it down a bit with the scissors, not very neatly, and then glued those two bits together. And then that's going to glue in there, and then it's going to look like a tie. And now I am adding strands of hair to the front where there is none to be seen. So I'm I'm adding it in and using the super sculpty clay again and gonna break off little bits and roll it stick it on try and make it look like hair so that will definitely help because if i mean you know you check the reference pictures and he's definitely got a fair bit of hair you know falling around the front just strands and stuff so that'll help it look more accurate all right so i've done my strands of hair and i'm doing the mouth now and uh trying to do it <laughs> it's scary my brush is old man it's not a very good brush like it's it's all uh it's all getting all frazzled at the end that's not good you want a sharp point when you're doing stuff like this so bear that in mind folks i'm working with some gorilla star and stuff here just getting it done but the hair turned out all right man look at that yeah can't wait to get it finished man and get it all put together you know with this tie that i've managed to build i think this is going to be pretty sweet Anyway, I've got to do the scariest part is the black outline that goes around the lips on this version. You know, when he's in his red suit, he doesn't have a... Whoa! Shit. Oh, man, did I just break something? No, I didn't. Thank God for that. I would have been heartbroken. Oh, anyway, it's looking good. I'll be back with you soon. This is scary. I'll be glad when it's done. It's going to be worth it, hopefully. All right, so I thought I did the red makeup, the smile, big enough. And then I realized also that I'm not going to be able to do the black outline with brush it's just too small and there's no way i'll be able to do it so i'm going to use a permanent marker pen so looking at the size of the uh, the red makeup on the smile it's pretty big so yeah i'm looking at where the the smile kind of ends at the cheekbones there i got to bear in mind he is making a kind of expression there but that's what i'm going to go by and then afterwards i'll smudge stuff and do what i need to do to get to more like the bathroom scene but i'm just trying to get an accurate size of the smile all right, got it done. You know, it ain't perfect, but I mean, I could tweak it. But do you know what? This permanent marker is uh, kind of really low on ink. I was having a lot of trouble getting any ink out of it. Might just be because of the surface, but I've got my uh, black outline now. So that I just realized how the hell I'm going to do like the the red above the blue on his uh, forehead. Like because of these little strands of hair I've done. That's going to be really awkward, but there you go. I'll get it done. We'll get it done, but he's starting to look good, man. Far from seeing it's happening. All right, well, I'm a perfectionist, so I wasn't happy because you can see the smile uh, starts to touch his chin. Yeah, that's like, see uh, right in the middle there at the bottom lip. I mean, it comes down a fair bit. So I wanted to make that more accurate. So I've done a bit more black line. I'm going to go ahead and fix that now with the red paint. I'm just trying to get that perfect shade of blue or whatever you want to call it but i find um mixing yeah what's this matte blue and this green here i ain't gonna try to say that but that's what it is emerald green okay i see that now yeah people keep asking and it's in the videos i've shown this about four times seriously i don't understand watch the video <laughs> come on uh, it's called revel and uh, it's uk paint i don't know if you'd be able to get it in the usa but yeah i'm just getting that the right shade of blue oh bless him he's like a kid it's heartbreaking I'm glad he's well all right got one blue bit done that wasn't so bad just got one more to do and then it's just a matter of doing those little red eyebrows on top which would be tricky because of the strands of hair but i'd managed to get around the strands of hair so far yeah man oh man it's starting to come alive folks i'm getting oh man i can just imagine him with his arms outstretched looking back into a mirror i need to get a mirror for that pose i'm sure i've got something i can whip up but you guys are in for a treat oh man it's alive okay so now both blue sections are done just keeping in the loop guys here and just cataloging it on the channel as i'm doing oh man it's coming alive seriously how friggin good is that honestly remember when i did the just the white makeup on this head sculpt 
and it really brought out the likeness to Joaquin Phoenix. But now, like the shadows fall in there, that looks exactly like certain moments in that bathroom. That's crazy. I need to do these uh, red eyebrows and we're done. Really, really pumped. This is going to be something special. All right, we're all done with the clown makeup. It's looking awesome. Now I need to do the bloody nose and some of the other bits of bloody weathering. After he, uh, this is encountered with three Wall Street guys on the train. All right, but yeah, that is uh, it's looking good, guys. It's looking really good. It's gonna look sweet. Can't wait to do photos with this. And now I'm debating with myself whether to use this uh, moment from the film to use as a reference for the bloody nose and the chin, sort of you know, streak of blood going down there. But by the time he gets to that bathroom, I'm pretty sure he wiped that a little bit, but it didn't smudge across his face, but it just doesn't seem that intense when he's in the bathroom. So I'm going to go check the bathroom scene and uh, see what's up. And i got to take note of that smudge uh, coming down there in the corner of the mouth on his right side. Smudge action. I have to do that. Smudge achieved. Gangster. All right, well, that's probably the best kind of head-on look at this um, scene I'm going to get. So it does look like he wiped away some of that blood, so I'm not going to do that as heavy. So I'm kind of just do like a little dry brush, maybe, and just copy that as best I can. I've mixed up some uh, kind of blood color here, various uh, two shades of red, crimson, and a brighter red, and some black mixed in. So I'll just dry brush that one. Okay, here we go. All right, so I've even gone as far as to add the sweat in the correct places as well. So uh, you got some sweat, see there, up on his temple. Use a bit of gloss for that. This stuff here. Windsor and Newton, oil color. Artist's gloss varnish. Yes, I sound like Bane. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, bloody nose. Got a little bit of varnish on the blood just to make it, you know, pop out a little bit more than the makeup on his face. He's got some sweat on his brow. That's it, man. Bathroom scene, Joker head. How many of these in the world right now? I don't know. I ain't seen anyone do this. So this might be a first. And look at that, man. Come on. See, I'm a keeper. I like to keep stuff. But if I was to try selling this, I could charge a bit. <laughs> I could make some money off this. But this is for my collection. So that's why I do it. I'm sure someone out there would pay crazy money for this. It looks amazing. I can't wait to see it on the body. But no, man, this is this is for me. This is for my collection. This is something I've wanted for a while, and I've done it myself, and I'm super proud right now. And it looks awesome. Sweet. I did lighten his hair as well. I, I made it a lighter brown because it was too dark. But man, I'm happy with that. I even did um, not tears, but I did put a little bit of varnish around the eyelids at the bottom eyelids. So, man, all right. That's it. That's crazy. Oh, and I even did the, oh, the slight discoloration on his cheekbone on this side because I don't know if it's this shot. If you can see it there as well. But yeah, he's uh, got a little bit of discoloration there. Man, oh man. I'm going to be able to do that classic uh, poster shot as well where he's kind of lifting his arms up, looking back. All right. That was the uh, behind the scenes stuff. I wish I could film it as I'm doing it, guys, but unfortunately, I just have to kind of pause every now and then just uh, pick up the camera and show you how far I'm getting. But that's the head done now. I don't think I want to do anything else to it. I did manage to remove some of the paint that was on the neck from when I had him in his just totally white face look, so I did manage to wipe some of that away just with Q-tips and a bit of water. There we go. All right, time to set him up. Painted me old Hitman shoes brown. Not super brown, just like a very mild dry brushing of brown just to kind of keep some of that black underneath they look nice and old they're not quite as shabby as the ones he's wearing in that scene but these will do these will do for now also because you don't really tend to see his socks showing on the red suit version when he's standing up straight i've taken his white socks and i'm definitely going to be using them on bathroom scene joker because you see his socks clear as day you can see when he at the dance starts off at his feet his socks are showing like these probably stop about here, so I'm going to cut some of the length off these. And that might make them hang a little bit more naturally as well. So 
That's what I'm doing. Frasier's good. You seen Frasier? Forget about it. So I don't even know how to explain how I'm doing this tie situation. Um, you know, I was not happy with the, the black elastic showing here. So, like I said before, if you caught it, I had to cut off about half of this, a quarter of that, and then thin it down, because obviously it would be quite thin around here, it wouldn't be thick. And yeah, it did me best, temporary solution, but I'm sure once the vest is on there and I've got them all tweaked, that will be fine, but it looks more like a natural tie now. So that's cool, just waiting for that glue to dry. Copy decks. All right, looks like I need me two, well, not exactly relaxed hands. That one's, yeah, two relaxed hands should do it. That's all I need to do now is just get my hands sorted out. Oh, man, this is so, so crazy. It's so good. Um, hands, that's it. Sorry, <laughs> losing my train of thought. Uh, right, we've got some hands. So I need some really nice, do I have any? I've got the DX Joker. The DX11 hands here, but I don't know if I've got any that look like they're basically just relaxed. I could just use that, actually. Screw it, I'm going to use these. There's the other one. These are super detailed, grungy, like the best HD, most detailed hands that Hot Toys have ever made in 1-6 scale. I mean, look at these. So I think I'll just use both of these for the outstretched look. And that's it, then we're done. I suppose I could wear the outfit a little bit. I haven't done that yet. But... Yeah, and there he is, all done. Turn on that brightness. Yep. Like I said, I need to get a mirror. But um, you know, that way you can look in the mirror here and we can see the reflection. That is cool, man. It's bad ash. Bathroom scene Joker, 1-6 scale. There you go. Yeah, that's nuts. Bloody nose. Get up on it. Oh. oh, 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 mercy. He's done. He is done. And I will have a better outfit for this look in the future but this will certainly do for now it's a good little placeholder it'll work it'll, it'll work on the shelf over there that's for damn sure <laughs> oh he's gonna be like that on the shelf <laughs> man all right guys i don't know how long this video is going to be but i just filmed as much as i could and i'll bring you more videos and show them both together soon uh, probably do a bit of weathering by the time you see him next time, but thanks for watching drop a like on the video help folks see it and Is that staying in place? Is the tie moving? I don't think it is that glue's really strong no, That's all good. All right Yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support on the Joker videos. Make sure you're checking out Instagram as well because there's loads of little clips on there and yeah yeah, man, I need to just shorten his trousers a little bit because I want to be able to see the white socks. But that's the only, well, maybe a bit of weathering, like stains on his clothes and stuff, but the head sculpt's done, man. And I just wanted to show him on the shelf quickly. Just that you can see the detail on this guy, man. This is so cool, the bloody nose. And the look on his face as well, it's perfect for when he looks in the mirror at himself. Joker comes out of its cocoon. Ugh. Look at that, man. Savage. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be uh, back with more soon. I'll look forward to showing you um, how they look together on the shelf here, the red suit, this version. And I've got to do the pose session with the red suit and this version now. So there's still a fair bit of Joker action coming at you. Thanks for watching.
see you soon bye bye